If you were to make a complex shape in Microsoft Publisser, you can easily group and ungroup it. So I'm going to go into here and over here on shapes, let's say I want to uh, make a simple shape, like a simple house. So I'm going to go over and take a rectangular tool right here and I'm going to create my roofs. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to choose a roof like shape. Let's say I'm just going to um, draw a custom shape right here by selecting this. I'm going to click, click click there you go that's the roof just like this so there's this roof over here and I'm going to drag in some windows as well windows and doors so I'm going to drag this out just like that and I'm gonna select the shape right here I'm gonna insert another shape just like that I'm going to drag in a rectangular tool and draw a shape just like this and I'm gonna click and drag just like that by holding control so that a copy is made so, but if I want to move it around you can see that these are actually individual shapes so in order to combine it, I can select them all or I can individually click control and select each of the shapes and I can group them together. First of all, I'm going to click control and click these three shapes. I can right click and I can group this as you can see. So these three are same shapes now. Now I can select whole of them and group them all together. So now this is a one single shape. So I can rotate this around. I can resize this just like that. I can stretch it out. As you can see right there another thing great thing is if you were to ungroup this you can also ungroup this just like that and you can see that individual objects are ungrouped now and this thing which I had grouped earlier remains a group so I have to ungroup that again so that is how you can work with grouping and ungrouping shapes inside of Microsoft Publisher hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe